set up for a second I'm gonna get set up for Dark Souls 3 um, if ooh cool um, so if anyone If, if Ron, if you want to jump in the chat and be my Dark Souls senpai, uh, feel free. I, I think I'm going to start just myself for a little bit, though. Keep it hard, you know? Uh... Me. Yeah. What up, dude? How are you doing? Doing good. Uh, I mute the what? I just needed to mute the stream. Okay. Oh, makes sense. That they makes sense. You don't want to be the cause of any echo. Let's see. Also, in case you didn't see it, I did send you that. There's like a plugin for oh, Ableton. Yeah. Well, that, I sent you that link so you can look at that if you ever want to do a the Hortown collab. But looks like it'll do what you want to do. So. Cool. in the abyss yeah we're back in the abyss oh here we go here we go I wonder why yours shows remote play connected at the top the whole time so I don't think mine shows that do you connect through remote play I have I haven't I got a capture card so I haven't been doing that Lately, but back when I did connect, it didn't have that thing at the top. I, oh, yeah, right. I don't know. Is this annoying to people? Should I crop it out? Uh, I don't think it matters. I, it's one of those things where I was just like, huh, I wonder why it's doing it. Let me, uh, I can Google. See by uh FIFA saved my life. <laughs> what in the Okay, so i playing a little bit. Yeah. I got this this armor on. I I leveled some stuff up a little bit more, but not too much. I'm 
trying out this sword. I think it might be worse than the... Okay, which, uh... Is that the broadsword? Um... Yes. Yeah. And then, and then uh, what is what is your role like? Crap. Ron. What? You distracted me. I'm kidding. <laughs> You say distracted, I say I tested you. <laughs> well, I failed the test. <laughs> oh, thanks for updating the stream, mate. Um, yeah, here. I was just trying the, the broadsword to try the broadsword. I think I'm going to go back to this thing. Because, wait. Yeah, the, the broadsword can be good. I think... I think the deep battle axe might be the best thing you've got. So if the deep battle axe, but the this one does more physical damage, but uh, this one does dark damage. Yeah, so hit triangle uh, once. And then you'll see on the right over there, right? Oh, button okay. One. It shows you like the total attack power after it includes, you know, the dark damage, after it includes any scaling that might come along with like your attribute bonuses. So if it's a dex weapon and your dex is high, that you'll get a bigger bonus oh. there. So, so another thing you can do if you really want to have which one is gutsy. Which shield is better? This shield? Uh, you want whichever one has higher physical guard absorption, so the the smaller one has higher physical absorption. Because that one's only 57, so only block uh, 57%, you know, whereas uh, that one will block 86% of an attack. So you'll take a little less chip damage, and yeah. um, you should be able to get you a 100% physical blocking shield. Where, do you, where are you seeing this 5786? Mm -hmm. So you see, like, um, oh, physical. So, oh, yeah, I see that. Yeah, yeah. Under so there's two blocks. There's attack power on the left, and then guard absorption on the right. Yep. So that's the helmet I began with. This is the helmet I'm wearing now. Got two of them. Mm -hmm. Does that make yeah, sense? Yeah. So if you, yeah, so if you look up at yeah, because I think you picked up an extra one. Yeah. If you look up at the top right, you can see your weight ratio right now is 71.4%. Okay. So if you exit the menu and then just do a roll real quick. Uh, uh, like, press forward and circle. You see how, like, he kind of sticks to the ground for a moment? Yeah. And then uh, if you just hit, uh, go, if you pull up the equipment menu real quick and just remove all of your armor. Wrong. <laughs> if you, if you're uh, if you're if you're comfortable with that, if you have all these Bobo people. guys. <laughs> and all and this then, uh, <laughs> And then this is then like do another role. What fan art of, of Bobo looks like? Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> But yeah, now if you do a roll, you see how much faster that is? Yeah. Yeah, so there's 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 fast roll, there's mid roll, and then there's fat roll. So you like being above 70% or something is uh is fat roll range. Okay. And then you know, under 70, I think it's something like like 30, like 25 or 30 percent and below is fast roll. Uh, so I'm gonna, so, I'm gonna wear this chest plate. I'm gonna do my old helmet. Yeah. So there you're doing mid roll. Yeah. I'm like right there. Yeah. All right. The thing is with this is kind of unique to Dark Souls Three. I think it's that <laughs> if you have any empty armor slots, you'll take bonus damage from. The animals, so. So we get bonuses on the damage I take. That's great. 
Yeah, the enemy. <laughs> so, that's, they always want to have something in there. You think it's just like the dog's bandage or whatever. And Nate is asking why why is the game blown out looking? And I think that is because HDR is not happening on the remote play. Like mm. the brightness looks really boosted. Yeah. I'm not sure what it looks like on your It looks like that on my monitor, but not on my um on the monitor I'm playing on. So yeah, it's probably the HDR, I think you're probably right. Yeah, probably yeah, probably when it goes to the to the remote play of the HDR. So like what you can do if you wanted to, you can in OBS, you know drop the brightness a little bit, but I don't know what it's doing. Get me like every other time. Yeah, I mean, you know, safety in numbers, right? Yeah. Alright, so I'm gonna go over what I did today. Uh, I killed these two guys a bunch. And then there's a guy directly across there. I killed him. Uh, and I got, like, something over there. I got, uh, over in there, I got a, a banner. A Lothric banner? And a second thing. Uh, you should have gotten the Way of Blue Covenant, I believe. You go to your yeah, way of blue. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. So I got the way of blue and the Lothric banner from that lady, and yep. then there was this this guy over here to the left who mm -hmm. had his back to me, and he was a really tough guy, and uh, I eventually beat him up. That's mm -hmm. what we do in this game. We beat people up. Yeah. And I got this, uh, I think, this refined gem? Mm-hmm. Yeah, so, uh, all those shards and gems, pretty much every rock you find is going to be for upgrading gear. Titanite shards are the most basic one, and then, uh, the other one, like the sharp gem, heavy gem, poison gem, things like that are for infusions, so the refined gem affects scaling for both. It makes the weapon scale for both strength and dexterity. So if you have really high strength really high dex, you can get a lot of good numbers out of your weapon that way. So I'm okay, uh, with these guys, if you press, like when, they're, when they have their shield up like that, if you press forward and attack at the exact same time, you'll do a kick. Oh. And for a lot of enemies, that kick will like knock their shield over. <clears throat> and then if you tap R1, you can do a repost or a you know critical okay. attack. Uh, question. And yeah. Is there shit on my face? Uh, or am I just like be, in a dark area? Might be blood. I think it's blood. Got blood on my face? Great. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> good job, Sax. Yeah, good job. Alright. Never speaks as it could be a mix of blood and shit. Alright, now his face is clean. 
Mm -hmm. What's going on? What's this? Uh... Is there a hype train? Oh yeah, there's level one hype train. The hype train has begun. Mm, guys. Um, if I get a level five hype train, I'll try and uh, get to that that guy in my uh, skivvies. No armor. Just an axe and a helmet. Level five, and he's taking it all off. Anyone else eating Taco Bell in their car? Just me? Probably just you, man. Probably just you and the whole world. I uh, eat Taco Bell in my apartment. What do you get from Taco Bell? Um, that's almost like whatever any time thing they got, but lately it's been the grilled uh, cheese burrito. Yeah, that's fun. Cool. Yeah, that's pretty good. Ooh, um, raw jam. Oh yeah, that's a rare drop. We're level two hype train. I so raw gems. Level five, and you can see Bobo prancing around in his skin. The raw gems, I think, remove all scaling that massively boosts the base damage of the weapon, and it's it's a fairly good infusion for early on in the game. But because resources are kind of limited, I usually don't mess with it. Like some Minecraft shit to me. There you go. <laughs> Pretty uh, much. So wait, forward and attack? Yep. Wait. Yeah, walk on, get close, and then do press forward and, and R1 at the same time, and you'll do a kick. Forward and R1, right? Like at the exact same time. There we go. Right. Come on. Man. It takes a little practice, but uh, for all these shield enemies, it's really useful because they'll hide behind it. I'm just practicing this move. Mm -hmm. Oh, it looks like people don't want to see Bobo get naked, but... If you were naked, then you would have completed that naked. Yeah, I could have done that naked. That's, That's not my fault. Stuff. That's chat's fault. That is chat's fault. Is the audio off? Oh no. Sex oh. had it muted. I uh. think. Ooh, yeah. new fireplace. Mm hmm We got this new fireplace. I can rest at it, fill up all my things. I can also travel to the Firelink Shrine. Check yeah, it out, guys. I mean, I'm going to the Firelink Shrine. You just get a fat stack of souls from killing it. 
Oh, and also, I, I had a bunch of those, like, souls that you picked up. You know, the little souls? Yep. That the you consumables? Got. I just, like, ate all those Welcome and cashed them in before. Yep. Right? That's yeah, what they're that's, for. Yeah, that's their way of not completely screwing you if you die over and over again. They're like, hey, you, you still got a little bit of souls in the bank, you know? Yeah. Okay. I can do one. So, I gave myself some more strength. Probably didn't need it too much. Um, what should mm. I give myself? Endurance? Vigor? Dex? Do I need more Dex? Well, I would vote... I, I'm a person that pushes endurance early because okay. I like to be able to swing my weapon a lot. I like to roll a lot. Yeah. yeah I just sense. like to have an energy. Um, now I got this axe, pretty good axe, should I try and upgrade it at all? Uh, you can see if you have enough, I don't know if you have enough, uh, shards, but you okay. can double check. Put it all in strength. It's good to see you in good health. So, is that Santa what Claus? Smith in this day? Kinda. Wait, do I want to reinforce or infuse? Reinforce. It's no, this one. This one. Is yes, the grayed out one that um, has a little red. Uh, so it's grayed out because I, I don't have enough. Yeah, you need two more shards. No worries, you'll probably get some soon. Yeah. In the next area. He's taking a break from Mrs. Claus. Mrs. Claus is like, You're always on your anvil! You're always hanging out with your shirt off. Hammering away at that anvil, huh? What are these little things here? On the those right. show you that there are people doing multiplayer in those areas. Oh. Which, if you want to do co-op, then, you know, it's a good idea to go there. But then more, I think people that use that more are people doing invasions and doing oh. PvP. So you know that there's a bunch of people there. You can go do some invasions. Okay. All right, let's see what this says. May the flames guide thee. Okay. Yeah, so you see up on the left there that how ornate the icon is? That's a dev message. Okay, alright, well. And then messages are cool because if you if you rate a message good, then that person, if they're playing, they'll get an extra Estus flask charge. And then Ooh. same for you. Like if you leave a message and someone runs by and rates it good. Oh, and really? You'll get an Estus Flask charge. Yeah. Okay. What if they read it bad? Uh, nothing happens. Fear over the. Ooh. Yeah, do people like go like put jokes and in... Yeah. Yeah, there's a there's a lot of so you have to select from a bunch of uh, different words and stuff that they give you, but there's a lot of like you'll see someone, you know, bent over a, a table and someone will put a message there and be like try finger butthole, you know. <laughs> Butthole's one of the words they let you use. No, it's it's the like but like the uh, oh, UT, uh. and then hole. <laughs> oh, okay. But you know, it, it it gets the message across. I don't know if you have the item. Uh, leave messages. I think it's the orange sign, soapstone. Ooh. 
Ooh, large soul right there. Put that in the bank. Yeah. Central plane. Amazing chest ahead. Equipped with both hands. For as limited of a lexicon as they give you, people can pull with some pretty funny stuff. Wait, what? Oh, oh, that's right. Just came from. Um, if I could move slower, am I quieter? Yeah. A little so bit. So you, you can be sneaky in this game? Oh, the other thing I was wondering is, like, I walk up behind someone, is there... Do I just hit him from behind and that does it, or is there, like... Yeah, like, you just tap R1, and it, it can be a little finicky sometimes, like, to get the backstabs. Oh, okay. Tap it. Yeah. It was a lot more forgiving in uh, Dark Souls 1 and Demon's Souls than in 2 and 3. They, 2, they got really, really strict about it, and then 3, they kind of balanced it out. I don't think I beat that guy with the, with the back. Yeah. Now, when, when Zack would do this, he would bring people in and he would talk to them, right? Uh, sometimes, yeah, he would do, uh, he, he would bring people in and do calls. Yep. Should we do calls? Yeah, if, uh, if you got something you want know, to talk to people about. I mean, it's your show. Uh, I would go, yeah, in the direction you're currently going. There is an NPC I think you should talk to. Don't want you to miss him. Oh, weird. That's my remote play was, like... It's not the scream or the Yeah, your camera was fine, but Alluring Skull. Ooh. Grant me death. Undo my shackles. <laughs> yes, that's the guy. Oh. Oh, then it's true. A champion of ash as I live and breathe. Presence is great honor. I am your under a pilgrim as you can see. to I was ordained. Well, perhaps my calling lies elsewhere. Say, Champion of Ash, how does the idea of taking me into your service strike you? Oh, I like it. I was once a sorcerer. Surely I can be of use? Yeah. Oh. Yeah, and just walking down the street and having some... Truly. Someone's like, I have failed to die. Dead. Can I please you work for you? <laughs> yeah, please! That actually happens a lot in LA. I, Yol of oh, yeah. <laughs> do solemnly swear myself to you. Either that or they try and pee on you. Do it. <laughs> Ahead. Yeah. <laughs> I think that's their trying to. They will often do like, oh yeah, jump for treasure, and then people will, of course, jump and then they'll die. Oh, lose look everything. Look at that, look at that dragon. Mm -hmm. That's cool. Look at this thing over here, what is this? Ooh, we got a bone. Yeah, so those are pretty uh, helpful. You can use those, and they will warp you back to either the last bonfire you rested at or Fire Link, and you don't lose anything. So if you're like, mm. you know, like when you were playing Dark Souls 1 and you're like super deep into a dungeon and you just want to get to like a safe spot, then you can yeah. just pop one of those and... Oh, nice. There you go. 
Is online still disabled? Only if you're talking about like because of the vulnerabilities and stuff, that's only for PC. Console, all the online still up. Another bonfire. Yeah, they're pretty uh, gracious with them in this game, especially towards the beginning. But they get a lot more s oh, sprawled cool. out later on. I don't like it. Giant? Okay. Yeah, I'm not sure what they're talking about there. I just sit at that at this and redo. Oh uh, yeah, I mean it doesn't hurt. It's only two guys. Yeah, so that's one thing too with with this game is you can usually see pretty much everything. Like everywhere you look, you can see where you're going. Yeah. So like that area down there, you'll actually end up in, and then if you look straight across, you can see. Pretty much most of this whole zone. Oh wow. Oh that's cool. Mm. And a lot of it's really accurate. Like some people have gone like they leave uh these little stones that grow on the to kind of see how uh, how accurate you know like they're actually because it, what it does is it loads in a super like, low resolution version of the map. Um, so that you can actually see that far. But it's all super pretty oh. accurate. Right. Yeah, Dark Souls dogs are the worst. Their their code is they literally teleport. Like if they are off camera, they will just teleport to you. Backstab. Backstab. Yeah. You can get a ring later that silence your silences your footsteps and stuff, makes it a little harder for enemies to detect you, but that won't be for a while. Yes, Central Plane, I do watch Zully the Witch. What? Uh, Zully the Witch is like a YouTuber that does a bunch of like... Uh, anal like analytical videos of little mechanics and stuff in all the Souls games. Is that thing? Uh, Watch out I can't for remember. the little bitch ass, Sam. I, I got him. <laughs> I can't remember what those guys are called. There is a named one who's named Grey Rat.
Oh, thralls. They're called thralls. Oh. Yeah, the boys got it. Thralls. <laughs> Good night, ho ho. Oh, come on. I didn't see you there, fatty. Yeah, so those, uh, did I poison myself or something? Uh, no, that's bleed. So the fat and he's casting a spell. I think it's called gnaw. And those bugs, they like fly into you and they start causing bleed. And when that, uh, when that bar fills up, you take massive damage. Oh. Oh, my time. Yeah, what a prick. Blood loss. It does like a massive percentage of your, of your HP. This is my first time getting this far in the game. Before, I couldn't beat the first guy. Now, I... I think I've... I beat him... No, I, I definitely beat him. Oh, you had to beat him to get here. No, 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 I mean before, though. Uh, I, I, I mean, I beat, I beat him this time. Um, I think maybe before I, I, I beat him, though. Because I, I remember but not getting much past him. Yeah. So, it looks like I've never are... been this far, for sure. Right. It looks like you're bad rolling again, by the way. Because you, when you first uh, were messing with your gear, you had the broadsword, which was lighter. And then you switch to the axe, so now you're fat rolling again. So that might help if you switch to the gloves out for something lighter. Because you're only at 71.4, so you could probably... Gloves are heavy. Yeah, if you do those northern gloves, you, you'll be back under 70%. Alright, cool. Good night, Animalio. Good night. And like they raided with party six. Oh, sick. If anyone wants to hop into the chat and say hey, Ron, can yeah, you see if people are in the chat in the wait rooms? Mm, there is currently no one in the waiting room, but if they hop in, I can yeah. all in one at a time. Yep. Oh no! Lost connection. Uh oh, is your uh, PS5 on Wi-Fi? No, actually. Oh. Hey, you might be able to go into the settings, like on the Remote Play app, and actually like change the stream quality and stuff. But yeah, yeah you'd have to hit cancel and then hit the gear on the left side. Cool. Oh, oh. The stream is buffering. Looks like... Okay, stopped. Oh, wait. Oh, shit. Go. 
technically is back. Yep. Kind of. I think it froze again. Uh, it's probably going to freeze again. I should get a capture card. Well, I wonder. Yeah, the, the quality is a lot better with those. <laughs> I wonder if it's that has to do with the the con my controller may be running out. Um. Video quality. Uh. Oh no. I don't know what. I got booted to the to the the out of the the server. Oh, on Dark Souls. On Dark Souls. Yeah, that should be okay. Assuming you didn't die while you're messing around with this, then you'll you should be right back where you were when you get back in. Okay. It's pretty good about saving that stuff. Thank you, drunken wizard man. In fact, it is so good about it that it is used against it in like speed runs and stuff. How? So there's this thing called uh, stable ground, and so what people can do is they'll use this uh, spell called spook, which um, negates fall damage or reduces fall damage, and from very, very, very long falls, all it does is kind of delay it. So they will roll to places that they normally can't reach. And the moment they land, they'll quit out of the game, and then the, you know they'll die. Yeah. But the game updates their stable ground and then they exit before the save actually happens. So then when they load back in, they're standing in that spot uh. Uh, that they were trying to roll to. And that gets abused in pretty much all the games. And then you can even use that. It's like extremely broken in Demon Souls where you can do that and um, into like boss arenas. And then when you load back in, you run off, you die, and then you respawn in the boss arena um, right behind the boss, and the boss is inactive. So you just get to kill the boss, and that's it. So one speedrunner, I think he did the game in, like, all bosses in, like, 20 minutes or something like that. Super fast. Oh, wait. Hold on. I'm going to check something. One second, guys. Ron, stretch. Stretch? Stream is yours. Oh, I, I need to vamp. Demon Souls needs more play Yeah, more people need to get PS5s. Yeah, I'm, uh, don't worry, God folks, damn I'm stretching. It. I'm limbering up. Uh oh. Uh oh. You know, sometimes when something's broken and you're like, what could it be? What could it be? And then it's like, oh, the cord wasn't plugged in all the way. Ah. Yeah, that'll do that. <laughs> yeah, I was going off Wi-Fi. Gotcha. That explains a lot. Yeah, I was gonna say when I when I did it this way, Wi-Fi was a nightmare. Yeah, like even over Cat Five, it's it's not great, but yeah. it's okay. Gnarly Nolan, Sam, are you going to try Elden Ring when it comes out? That's why I'm doing this. To, like, get ready for Elden Ring. To, like... This is... This is my boot camp. This, yep, Sam's Elden Ring boot camp. Oh, wait. Sometimes I have issues with it connecting if I'm already... If I've already got the PlayStation on. 
So like I'll turn it off and then do the connect. Oh, really? Yeah. Let me try one more time. Yeah. So, all right, I'm I'm just, yeah, maybe, maybe I invited Zach to to come on the stream. I told him I'd be here. Um, was he excited to hear you're playing this? Yeah, he was like, "No way!" <laughs> and then, wait, let me read the the text. This is private text, so I shouldn't yeah, be sharing this, but I won't tell him. I said, if you're around, I'm about to stream and part of my stream. I'm doing my show, uh, my show souls asylum, by the way, that's what we're watching is souls asylum, uh, where I play dark souls three. He said, Whoa, I have a work call at six, but I'll check in after. Nice. The hype for Elden Ring is real. It is. All right, so you're suggesting shut off. Completely yeah. turn off. Yeah, turn off the plate. Not, like, you don't have to turn it off, just like put it in rest mode or whatever. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, yeah. So if you turn it off, off, then it'll be unresponsive to any sort of wake on land. Okay. <laughs> Zach saw the quality of chroma key and bailed. Uh, I mean, Zach doesn't even chroma key, so he yeah. shouldn't be judging. No, no, he was like intimidated, I think, you know? Because, um. <laughs> like, it's so good. He was like, what? How is Sam doing this? This is the cleanest fucking stream. So it happens when you go to Bulgaria for yeah. three months. Did the PS5 even turn on? Did you uh, try to connect? It did. Uh, I'm going to turn it back off. I'm going to put it back in breast mode. What? Naughty. That's weird. Okay. Now it's off, I hit the connect. Now let's wait and see what happens. Oh, you know what? Mm. I wonder, did it, do you think I need to reestablish the remote play? Because it went from Wi-Fi to LAN? I don't think you do, but it can't hurt. Just to verify. Horizon Forbidden West and Elden Ring both come out this month and Jackass 4? Good month. Doesn't uh, Gran Turismo 7 also come out this month? It's a very niche game, but... I saw something about it. Like, they just did, like, a long... Like state of play about it. I think I think that's gonna be fun. And South Park is there a new season of South Park? It's happening in South Park. I didn't watch the last season. Of South March Park. March fourth. The pandemic. Oh, March fourth for Gran Turismo. Yeah. Dying Light Two. I haven't played Dying Light. Is it? Doesn't Dying Light come out on the third? So that's like tomorrow, right? 
played the first one a bit. Just kind of fun with like friends. To start remote play, close games and apps and features on your PS5 that can't be used with remote play. Can Dark Souls not be used with remote play? I mean, it, it was just being used with remote play, so... I wonder if there might be, you know, let me see if I can connect the line. The way I do it, I put it in the crystal. Setting. System settings, hopefully. No, I want to do other connections. Uh. So weird, I'm going to close it, reopen it. Wait. Oh, Zach saw the stream and hacked it. That makes sense. Son of a bitch. How do I sign out? Well, I was just going to connect to Amanda's PS5. Oh, wait. Oh, it's just saying to do that. Okay. I just connected. All right. Now, let me go back to this. intense opening like title card music and it's very loud so are you going to pre-order Elden Ring I did mm -hmm. um, are you going to get the deluxe or just the Elden Ring standard I got the not the most collector collector's edition but the one below it so you got like the statue the fancy case I think some maps like got everything except for the helmet. Cause I didn't need a helmet. <laughs> Is it an actual helmet or like a helmet? Yeah, it's like a one-to-one -one scale replica of uh, Millennia's helmet. Mm. No way! Is Elden Ring? Is that that's in this world? No. Or it's just with this team. The thrall. Same team. So it's George R. R. Martin and uh, Miyazaki doing world building. It probably it shares a lot mechanically, but that's about it. So do you know anything about the story? Uh, so it's vaguely Norse-ish, where there's a a tree and. There is a ring. <laughs> I've been like intentionally staying in the dark about it, so I don't want you know too many spoilers. 
Um, but basically you play as a character called the Tarnished One who is seeking to kind of rejoin this, I guess, like a fractured ring. And uh, once it's, it's basically kind of like Lord of the Rings-ish. Where it's like you get the one ring to rule them all. Mago power. Prime Rib, which ironically right now you can wear up to four rings, but in Elden Ring you will not be able to wear any ring. person now when we were playing before you gave me something and you're like this is for when you die yep i gave you an ember so you have two forms you have unembered and ember so if you notice like after you killed the boss earlier you had uh sort of like uh some cindery animations going over you and then up in the top left that little uh empty slate was kind of fiery oh yeah that means you're that's you're embered so that's when you can summon people and do uh normal online play and you also get a slight hp boost when you're embered so it's more like a, a buff in other games like when you die you would have your hp cut in half it was it was a nerf. So they decided to do like your your normal in an unembered status, and then you get a little buff when you're embered. Oh, okay. Yep. So there are essentially three ways to get embered. You can defeat the boss of an area, which you get embered from that. You can get summoned into someone else's world and help them kill the boss. And if you do that, you get embered. And oh. then you can use those items, which will also ember you. So there is some benefit to like it's not just like complete charity playing in someone else's. Yeah, no, it's yeah, playing like getting summoned by someone else is actually so I was this is how I used to play the games when it was my first time through is I would put my summon sign down and get summoned in that area and just help people beat the area until I got all the way through the area. And then I would summon Ooh. people and we would go through the area. So, because when you get summoned, you don't lose anything if you die. You know, you just get a bunch of souls, you die, you go back to right where you were standing in your game. There's no loss. So then... You know, you can take those souls, you can level up, but more importantly, you have experience with the area, and you kind of know what's coming around the corner. Yeah. So, you can then work through the area that way. I feel like I should circumnavigate these guys. Perfect. Oh, one thing you can do... Yeah, I'm very slow. Over there, there's some exploding barrels, so if you threw... Some fire bombs. You might be able to kill a lot of them. I mean, do I like? fight those those guys right now or uh, I mean you don't need to um, that sounds like a do need but, to <laughs> well, you don't need to fight anybody but you get souls and then there are some items over there there's a uh, an essence flask upgrade over there that will give you an extra swig of estes juice
to throw this over there. Uh, yeah, if you look at those guys, if you keep, if you go off to the left more against that wall, and then aim for the third guy, and then throw the firebomb, it'll hit those barrels, and then you see some that see dude. Fun stuff. Yeah. There you go. Nice. Yeah, so that wipes out a good, good chunk of them. I should run away. I I hit the wrong button. And I get like I get very like all in when they're down to their like last little sliver, and that's usually where it falls apart. You know? Yep. Yeah. Getting greedy, you'll get punished almost all the time. Yeah. This game's about discipline. Also, did you want did you want Souls Asylum or Souls Ass Asylum? <laughs> oh, well, yeah, wh whatever's Nate, clever, you know. <laughs> Nate's been titling it Souls Asylum. Well, yeah, it's like the 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 band, but yeah, Souls Ass Asylum. Right. So you should be able to creep up on those guys and get some backstabs without aggroing the uh, the, the woman. So that was not a backstab. No, you gotta get a little closer. You gotta be okay. like right up in their back. Best you've ever seen at this game? You take it real quick. <laughs> oh no! Oh crap! Oh crap! Are you getting greedy? Did you get greedy? No, I didn't get greedy. Yeah, okay, so when you get grabbed, anytime you get grabbed in this game, if you mash buttons, you'll take a little bit less damage. 
Don't use a long time. Don't panic. Always bring a towel. Oh. Fucking die. Close. There you go. Oh, it's funny that it's the delay, so. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, I'm, I did it, and you're like, close. <laughs> <laughs> Almost there. Right. No, let me not die here. You'll see this one. <laughs> yeah, so that Estes shard you picked up? Yeah. When you, you take that back to Andre, um, aka Santa Claus, and that will give you one more use of your Estes flask. Oh shit, yeah. And then the other good item to keep an eye out for is uh, undead bone shards. Okay. Because those will upgrade how much each use heals, so how effective the uh, SS flask is. Oh fuck! Oh, shit! God damn it. Oh, I just heard the died sign, yeah. <laughs> Pitchfork to the face. Damn it. I was trying to sneak up and I didn't really have a good angle. And... Alright, so. D20, yeah. But we did get D20. You're right. Yeah, I don't... Sometimes I, I I go back and forth about how you could almost classify this game as kind of survival horror because it does get to a point where you're creeping around every corner uh, yeah. with your shit up like real slow because you actually are like afraid for your life. <laughs> no, yeah. I, I... Miss. Um. Sorry oh, that hey. the thing isn't working too great. Oh, the Eps and Stars Prime Rib, which. Oh. Okay, I see what you're saying. What are those things called? Those little things? Brawls. The you think little anyone, dudes with the hats. Do you, do you think anyone thinks those things are sexy? Any you sex, know, sexy thrall stories out there? I, I bet someone does. I bet someone does. Right up on this dude here, and then tap R1. Yep. Like as soon as you're breathing out his neck, that's when you probably hit the button. Turn around! Rick, turn around. Ha ha ha! Ha ha ha! Merry Christmas! Because I see, I hear you say that. Oh, 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 Merry Christmas, and then I immediately hear the bastards curse. <laughs> oh fuck! <laughs> oh, fuck. Wait, I need the. 
please. doing when I'm not killing them? Uh, they're really just standing there. Yeah. That's weird. These are weird. They're pretty weird. I think, I think the idea is that these people have died so many times at this point that they've gone hollow, so that they don't, all they want to do is kill people. Oh. Um, do you think Elden Ring's gonna have a lot of incest in it? I really hope not. <laughs> it's possible. It's, it's like just like this game, but with like a ton of incest, and you're all just like, I, of I can see what George R. R. Martin wrote. Yeah. Ooh, I opened a door. Ah! Fucking scared the crap out of me. <laughs> yeah, see what I mean? It's got survival horror elements. Yeah. Oh, fuck. Fell through the floor. Warrior. Covenant Warrior of Sunlight, huh? Yeah, so that's the Sun Bros Covenant. It's like the best, uh. Well. You don't really get any benefits for it. Um, as you level up in that covenant, you do get some cool uh, faith maneuvers. But if you don't, uh, you're not doing a faith build, then it doesn't matter. Here we go. Back on. This is the absolute worst this has been. The chair play. Yeah, it's really pretty good. It's up right now, right? It's working. Uh, we got the checking network screen. Hold on. Tell me if it goes. Oh, oh. Oh, oh. It's weird. It, like, once it, like, clicks off. I need to like. Oh, that guy looks tough. Uh, yeah, he got realized. Not bad. Okay. He's a little aggressive, but he ain't, he ain't too bad. Yeah, let's just say I'm glad I used the block there. Yeah. Now I'm getting to the point where. You know, like, next stopping point, I'm done for the day, but... Can I go back and drink that soup? Uh, did you already drink it? Yeah. Uh, no. I think it's gone. I think it only is there once. God damn it. What kind of soup is only there once? <laughs> Most soups. Unless the person that drank it was sick. Could this be a hint? I don't know. Is it? So, we're not far from the next bonfire. The next boss is a little, little far away. All right, we're not far from the next bonfire. That's good.
Okay, I'm getting scared. Traveler soul, not bad, not bad. Yes, uh, yeah, a couple hundred souls. What's this freaking room? Another fatty? Yeah, they're like, uh... They're like friends. There's a little thing in this area. I got a whip. Things full of fags and thralls. Quick question, Sam. So when you're doing this, are you using a... Do I have my pants on? I... I mean, I already know that answer. Um... It's the second oh. thing. I was gonna say, are you... So, like, when I would do this, I would log into Remote Play, and I would connect my controller to my computer. Are you using two accounts to do your remote play? Yeah. Okay. And then, are you connected to the PlayStation or the computer with your controller? I'm connected to my PlayStation with the controller. Okay. So I'm not, like, dealing with any of the lag. It's not affecting the gameplay. I'm just that bad. <laughs> well, I was, I was just trying to like troubleshoot why remote play might keep dropping. Um, because if there could be a possibility that if you have the controller plugged into a USB to the computer, no, and then you're also trying to be connected to the system, it could be switching back and forth. And as soon as the controller like connects to the console, it'll drop the remote play. Yeah, you know? it's like, hey, you're local, you don't need this. But. Should I go back and explore more? Is there stuff to other stuff to get over there, crossing the bridge and stuff? Uh, or is you the next? Do that. Where's the next fire? Is it this uh, way? Yeah. It's it's right past Fatty. Oh, wait, I see it. <laughs> I thought I saw that. This dude's gonna do something unexpected. Oh yes. Fucking A. Here we go. E found the fire. Here we go. Found the fire. Bonfire lit. Guys, I killed the boss tonight. You know, I I got into this new area. Um you know, I know I said if you guys got to a level 5 hype train, I'd do it, but... Guess what? <laughs> you gonna strip anyway? Bobo Wilcox in all his glory. <laughs> Let me ask you a question. Yeah. Alright. Do you think this is acceptable on Twitch? <laughs> oh, I'm, <laughs> I'm about to ban you from the Widest Kids channel, Ron, for that <laughs> one. All right.
Um, guys, this was Sam's Muscle Show with a special segment of Souls Asylum. Uh, thanks so much for coming out. Uh, again, if you thank Ron, thank you, Ron. Souls Asylum, yes, Asylum. Uh, Ron, uh, thanks for your help and guiding me through all this. And Absolutely. again, for everyone, um, <clears throat> if you're interested in taking an eight week course uh, with me on Zoom, remote co- course, Sam WKUK class at gmail.com. And I'll fill you in on the information. Should be starting in a couple weeks if I can get it all filled out. Um, should be a lot of fun and good practice and good vibes, creativity, that kind of stuff. Um, I'm not going to discover you. I'm going to say that up front. I won't discover you, but I'll hopefully get you better at sketch writing. Um, so, yeah, email me. Uh, guys thanks so much let me look at like uh who's on twitch right right now um let's see um ooh, you know what i haven't uh raided marth in a while let's raid Professor Marth live. Live. Um. And uh, also uh, this Sunday, Trailer Boys. Uh, the theme is old people, like grumpy old men, grumpier old men, cocoon, like those kind of movies. Um. I think it should be a fun one. And I think Emily might stream soon. Hopefully she'll stream soon. Um, yeah. You guys want to see? You, Ron, are you still here? I'm here. You want to see something cool? Yeah. Lay it on me. This is very top secret. But I'm just going to share it with you and the hundred some people in here. 80 people, 77 people, 95 people in here. Uh, Let's see. Uh, (laughs) Wait. Oh yeah, there it is. <laughs> there it is on my phone. You disappeared. Do you know what that is? Is that the ultrasound? That's a baby. That's yeah, it's a baby. That's a baby. Mm. Wait, is I'm, Nate watching I'm... this? Actually, before we go, I want to talk to Nate about something. Is, is he here? Can no, Nate? Can you... I I banned Nate. He's can, gone. Can you right. jump on on uh, Discord for a second, Nate? If you're here, yo, jump on Discord. Can you jump in? Uh, Ron, you can stick around for this, or you can leave, whichever. But I was gonna say if if you wanted a a couple minutes to. <clears throat> afterwards to review your your settings to figure out why it looks so funky oh no no that that's not it, what we're doing at all this is a no i'm saying personal. after oh after. after the after the stream oh, i i gotta i gotta end the stream all right. i gotta bounce off right after this right. but there's something okay, i have okay. to talk to nate about first okay, okay. uh once he jumps on he's, but feel, he's in. feel free to oh he's in you here nate you here He's here. Can Hello. You? Oh, here, oh. I can hear him. There we go. I'm going to talk about something with you, Nate. Bring it up with you. 
and um uh i'm also uh i'm gonna bring it up in front of chat i don't know if this is the best idea to do it but it's just i'm gonna say that this is just a maybe this is just something that we're entertaining so nate you are aware that i'm uh i have a fiance who's with child right correct correct i am aware and you are aware that she's got a pretty long last name fairly uh yes i know what her last name is yeah and that if i were to hyphenate with her last name it would be a longer last name the math with that checks out correct yeah so but also if we have a kid you know it's like whose name do we take do we take my name do we take her name yes. do we uh hyphenate hyphenate would be pretty long long for the kid so we started or. talking we started talking about a third option and that's taking on a new name A new, That's cool. a new last name. And I was like, I don't know. But uh, then we were talking about possibilities for the new last name. Do you know what, what got got bounced out there, which I I like? I think Sam Brown would be would still be my professional name. <laughs> Somebody said Buckerson. Buckerson. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, uh, um, forest. We were talking about. Oh yeah, yeah, that's cool. It's a family with name R's. with two R's. Forest. Then it would be Samuel Forest, and Emily would be Emily Forest. Wait, you would change your names too? Yeah. Why but, would you change your names? So we'd have the same name as our kid. Do you need to have the same name as your kid? I mean, it's just makes you feel connected. Yeah. Well, Sam Brown's such a good name, though. But yeah, I, I think it's cool. No, I think I would keep Sam Brown professionally and then legally change my name to Samuel Forrest. Samuel Kelly Forrest. Oh, like Casey Affleck. What's Casey? What? Uh, that's not his real name. I don't know what it is. Uh, but like, you know, mom didn't change her name from Brown after dad went and died on her. I don't think they do that, though. Widows usually keep the name, right? I don't know. <laughs> I'm kidding. What middle names are you thinking of? Uh, well, we were thinking about doing, uh, if it's a boy, doing ian forest as a middle name but now if it's our last name it would be ian probably if it's a boy and then um for a girl we're thinking evelyn that's cool because you couldn't do ian brown because then people would be like oh from like the stone roses oh really is that the guy's name yeah ian brown and I don't think people would be like, oh, like this. Like maybe if the kid went in, into a record store in, you know, like London, they'd be like Ian Brown, like the Stone Roses. I don't think there's kids going to be like Ian Brown, like the Stone Roses. Hey, want to listen to whatever the new Miley Cyrus is? Miley Cyrus is a good name if it's a girl, though, too. Yeah, that's true. Um... But yeah, I think it's a cool idea. I it I think it's hard to change your name though. No, I, I don't know. I know like when it's a baby, you can just put the name down, right? But they let you choose a last name too. Uh, I mean, I, I don't think it's too hard to change your name. People do it all the time. It's like forms. It's like a thing. I I guess I don't know I don't know anyone that's changed their name. 
I mean, people change their last names all the time. People like hate their dads. Women do it when they get married. Yeah, bogus anomaly knows. Yeah, but and sometimes men do too. Legal. I think that's like that the the maiden name, married name thing is like built into the married marriage contract, right? When you sign the legal paperwork. Lawyer fees for easier process. Yeah. Uh, Just tell them they're adopted. It's harder to do it when you're not getting, but it's, it's still a thing. But like, I mean, there's, there's people who are like, oh man, I hate my dad. He took off on me. I'm going to change my name to my mom's last name. Do you know buddy? Jay is changing his name back to his birth dad's name since he's reconnected with him. <laughs> oh, really? That's funny. Yeah. I, I, Oh, when my dad did it, he had to, it cost him a, like a thousand dollars and he had to go in front of a judge and saying why, and then getting it approved. Well, I think yeah. our, our reasoning is, is sound. What are kids? Kids are like, are like, uh, junior people, I think is what you call them. There is an easier idea if you, somebody said, Sam, you and your fiance, find a dude that has the last name you want, both of you marry him and take his last name. True. Um, well, I think it's a cool idea. It, it's out well, there. I mean, I, I didn't really like the idea until like Forrest was like, we were both saying the names and we're like, oh, that's kind of a cool name. Did you think about Brownini? <laughs> yeah, Brownini yeah. Brown came up. Yeah, Brownini. Uh, or cr- Crown. Crown. Oh, you know what is funny though? Is I was just like kind of like entertaining this. I, I looked it up and I was like, you know, there's another Samuel Brown, another famous Samuel Brown, who is a. Um, uh, a British uh, a female British singer from the 80s and then I looked up Samuel Forrest and then there's a, a like indie musician Samuel Forrest from like the 2000s what about Samuel Elliott wait no never mind <laughs> Yeah, no, Elliot's a different name than Forrest. Yeah, oh, I do like Forrest. I wouldn't be able to change my name because if you Googled Nathaniel Forrest, um, there's already one. Yeah, yeah. Um, and that, and that came up and we were like, you know what? Uh, most people won't make that connection. Yeah, that's good. <laughs> Especially the kid's not, name isn't going to be Nathaniel, so. Yeah, for chat, Nathaniel Forrest uh, 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 founded the Ku Klux Klan. was like the first Grand Wizard. Uh, I name, think it was a Civil War general or something like that. Yeah, yeah. Not great. Yeah, cool guy, cool guy. I said not great, but I... <laughs> no, I mean like no, no, in the cool guys club. Oh, uh, uh, Whitaker for a forest name, Whitaker Forest. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty good, Deja. All right, I gotta head out. I think it's a great idea. I am going to Professor Marth's playing Bloodborne. So if you didn't get enough of this kind of game, you're about to get some more. He's playing a game. It says Bloodborne 1995. But I thought Bloodborne like just came out a few years ago. Oh, they a fan made a demake, so they kind of remade a section of the game to run on the PlayStation emulator. So it's kind of like a demake, is what they call it. Guys, so imagine that. Thanks for coming out. Thanks for chilling. This was. The Muscle Show. This is a hybrid show. Yeah, Muscle Show. um, Souls Asylum. 
waiting by the phone, waiting for you to call me up and tell me I'm not alone. All right. Uh, I'll see you guys on Sunday for tra- 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 Trailer Boys. You're a host, too, because last minute I had to leave town to dog sit for somebody because their dog sitter, like, bailed, like, after they were on the plane, so... Do, do, do.